Hey everybody, we're at Lake Griffin State Park. We're gonna do a quick drive around. Obviously this is the ranger station and we've been through here already, so I'm just gonna drive through. Straight ahead is the boat ramp, but we're gonna turn into the camping areas. Beautiful oak trees all throughout the campgrounds. some pictures taken we can share the pictures as well since we're not going to stop at each site you can um, find us at Atlas Jeeper for some pictures of all the camp spots in particular we're just going to do a quick circle of the loop I think there's what 40 sites is that correct yeah 40 sites This is where the loop begins. And I think one is going to be on our left here, and 27 is on the right. And this 28 is very wide open, a pull through, but there's no privacy there. Quite Three. Small too. Yeah, small. Three and four we're passing now. We're going to five, six, seven, and eight. This is like a mini loop. Five is it's small. They're they're for smaller campers. Six on the left, seven on the left. Eight is the campground host. One of them, there's two more. I mean one more, right? Yeah. Two campground hosts to total. We're on the left here. It's a very sunny spot. Okay, this is nine here on the left. And ten. They seem they, they could get some bigger campers in these. Eleven on one side, thirty on the other side. These are pretty sunny, exposed to the sun. They're pretty large. The ones on the left side, the right sides are small for tents or small campers, but they are on the sun. 12 was campground host. 13 is a large site, but it's a lot of sun. And 33 here on the right hand side here is a pull through site, um, but you're, you're really exposed to people there. Straight ahead, are these the ones that pull through to the other side? Yeah, they pull from the other side, yes. Okay. So this is 14 here on the left. Thirty-four and thirty-five are right next to each other, and they pull through. They're the ones that we were just showing you. Uh, they pull through from the other side. Sixteen on my left. These are the very long sites. They could um, take the. I don't know what size are the longest trailers. And this one here, thirty-six. This pulls through as well. Pulls super long you could bring the long I don't know what the longest campers are but it's a huge RV site yeah probably 50 foot 37 as well huge I think if I had uh, a large camper that would be my favorite spot to be able to pull through 
18 on my left here, 19. 38 is a very odd, odd spot. I'll show you the other side as we're pulling around, but you, it's a pull through, but then you have a little area that you could like put a pinch of tent and ha you have your um, picnic bench and fire pit. And it's very long too, very long, at least 50 foot. And this is uh, the dump station. Is this again 34 this is the other side of I think it was 34 you can see here how it pulls through from the other side and then you can um, you know park the RV up there or if it fits in this little spot here you can park it here pitch a tent small camper it's a pretty big site but but you don't have a lot of privacy this is us here in 20 the left side yeah. on the left side so 20 21 and 22 22 is on the right I gotta show the Mars spot real quick that's our little tiny camper at number 20 we don't need a heck of a lot of space, space. yeah we don't need any space 21 on the left Twenty-two is full sun. They have a tent there. Must be cooking. By the way, this is June. It's pretty hot today. Twenty-three is full sun as well. What's the temperature here? Eighty-five, maybe. Twenty-six on the on the right. Twenty-four is full shade. A lot of shade. And I hate giving out the secrets, but 25 is my favorite spot. It's it's nice and it's a large spot. Some shaded areas, privacy. And that's the end of the loop. That's the end of the loop. There's a trail here on the left. It's amphitheater on the left here as well. Like I said, we have some pictures at each one of these spots. If you want to see the spots in particular, you can find us at Atlas Jeeper on Instagram. Um, and I'll have them posted on the dirt as well. check out the boat ramp. Oh yeah. Go to the boat ramp. It's really pretty. See all these beautiful trees. know if you like this video give us a like or follow us would be even better on YouTube any suggestions yeah suggestions you would like to see how we can make this video better for the next one we do a lot of reviews of campsites a lot of videos because it's so hard to find good videos of the campsites and you know what each site looks like So on the left here is uh, a playground and the boat ramp. And I forget what's it called, Blackwater or something like that? It's a dead river. Dead river, Blackwater, and it's because it is Blackwater. <laughs> I'm gonna just, can I pull in forward just to show? Sure. I don't think anybody's gonna care, right? Look how pretty. And you can see how pretty everybody 
everybody. It's a hot day today, but how dark the water is. People are fishing out there. And over on the left, it's the playground area. Uh, you can bring your kayaks in, um, small boats, canoes. I think they do kayak and canoe rentals here. Yeah, they do. Oh yeah, there they are right there on the right. Good spots for fishing, kayaking, canoeing. Manatee, seeing the manatee. Here's the kayaks here. And there's a nice big parking area. back out to the ranger station and where the camping area begins. Uh, also on the left there's a trail to the second largest oak in Florida. Um, it's pretty amazing. I've seen videos. We haven't walked that yet but it looks beautiful. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Mammoth Live Oak. Mammoth Live Oak. Okay, that's it. So if you liked our video, please let us know. Click, click a like, follow us. Again, it's Atlas Jeeper on Instagram or YouTube. And we'll talk to you later. Enjoy.